Hey, hey! Anthony back from Metal Miners. Got an update I want to do. All cassette, all underground death metal, all good stuff. Only the good stuff here. Only the good stuff, baby. Uh, in the background, we're listening to Sadistic Drive. Anthropophagy. Anthropophagy. Sadistic Drive. Finnish death metal. Uh, excellent stuff. I don't know where I put the paper I had. I wanted to tell you about it. Finished Death Metal anyway. Uh, I think it's 2020 release. Uh, come out on Blood Harvest. Good stuff. Check it out if you haven't. Sadistic Drive. We'll talk more about this when I do a uh, vinyl update. Uh, before I get going, I got a shout out. I've been talking with a guy on uh, Instagram. Man, I tell you what, is I'm becoming more and more able to do this uh, technology stuff. Cody's created a monster. But um, I've been talking to a guy who's got a band called Resilient. The guy is from Santiago, Chile. You need to check him out. His name is Oscar Mendez. Uh, he's got a new uh, release out, a new single out. Uh, you can check it out on YouTube. I'm going to try my best to put a link uh, in the description where you can check it out. If not, just go to YouTube, type in Resilient. The name of the track is Black Clouds and check him out he plays every instrument on it but the drums they're programmed he does the vocals it is awesome stuff check him out check him out on instagram uh resilient death metal can't beat it can't beat it good guy oscar mendez uh this is some labels and distros where i've been getting a bunch of these cassettes if you want to know where i'm getting them life after death is one place that uh, i get a lot of stuff Actually, I got that vinyl there from Life After Death. Eric does a great job. I get some stuff from Caligari Records. <clears throat> I get quite a bit of stuff from Rotted Life. Been picking up a few things from Famine Records. And uh, been placing an order, too, from Goat Throne Records. Of course, I get uh, stuff from other places, uh, Transylvania tapes. I don't have a, a sticker to show you, but you know the, the, the normal stuff, 20 bucks spin, Hell's Head bangers. Uh, Cody's just got a couple orders in from Earache across the pond, believe it or not. All that good stuff, but enough of that carrying on. Only the good stuff, so let's get started. Uh, the first one I want to show you guys is Sewer, Psychotic Melodies. <clears throat> These guys, this is a 2021 release. <clears throat> this come out on Life After Death on this yellow cassette. <clears throat> Excuse me. Life After Death actually, uh, well, no, that's not true either. Life After Death, I'll pull this thing out where you can see it. This cover art's by a guy named Sarcophagor. I'm not making that up. Sarcophagor. Uh, like I said, these guys are from Kentucky. Um, a three piece this is 10 minutes 24 seconds of death metal uh, death metal good stuff four tracks the last track is actually a mortician cover uh, if you want to check out a track uh, check out bagged tagged and burned you'll love it you'll love it mid pace death metal um, Cody and I are actually going to go see these guys. They're going to come next month uh, to Florida do some shows. I know they're going to be in Tampa and Jacksonville. We're going to try to catch both shows. I don't know. Tampa's 200 miles away, uh, but um, I think we're going to try to do it, man. Love these guys. Sewer, check them out. Kentucky. Better than the Kentucky Derby. That's right. Next, Granulated. Check that out. Self-titled demo. Uh, 2021 reissue. I guess this came out originally in 2020 on Goat Throne, uh, released on a CD, and Head Split did a cassette. But this is a reissue on Head Split. Uh, Micah Rotten done that cover art. This is a one man project out of Juliet, Illinois. Uh, death metal, naturally. I'm not going to tell you every time it's death metal. This is death metal. This is a death metal update. Um, Aaron, I think you'll find Aaron's from Molder, uh, does it all on here. One man project, four tracks, 
a little over 17 minutes long. Um, he had a couple uh, promo tracks on Bandcamp and then he put this out. Um, not reinventing the wheel, you know it's mid-paced death metal. Uh, if you want to check one out, check out track two, Lead Encased in heads it has a sample at the beginning that's just crazy man you'll love it uh, and the last track on there um, it was no accident that's a good one too well it's all good uh, but check them out currently active but uh, listed as unsigned on metal archives next mortuary punishment check out that cover mortuary punishment Brotherhood and Genocide EP. Uh, there's your cassette. It repeats on both sides. I love that. Just a little over nine minutes. It's an intro and three tracks. Pretty quick listen. Uh, uh, cover art by John Mayo. Pretty cool cover art. Uh, there's the man himself. It's a one man project. Big O. Uh, there he is. Did a 2018 demo called Pride, Power, and Punishment. And then he put out this EP. Um, you know, if you, uh, if you like Zibalba, if you like uh, Zom Pantley, I um, mean, you'll like this. I mean, it's Big O. He's got that heavy guitar tone. He's doing it right. Representing, as Cody would say, he's repping. Trying to learn this new lingo. He's young guys do man i can't hardly keep up with them i have to look up definitions sometime mortuary punishment it's, it's a good one man it's a real good you'll enjoy it <clears throat> here's your one perihelion gnosis and the title of this one is syzygial summoning and this is a demo this is another one of those that repeats on both sides there's the cover Cover art's not listed. This is listed on Metal Archives as Doom Death Metal, Quebec, Canada. Uh, this demo is this young man's first outing, Caleb Simard. Um, he has a split coming out with Wharf, Wharf Lurch, the Gainesville boys. The two tracks that are on here uh, run for about 11 and a half minutes, and they'll be the same two tracks that are on that split. Uh, it's a one-man project. Uh, he does it all. I don't think I showed you the inside. Well, mine's gone. It's a one-man project. He does it all. I, I'm not sure if he does the drums or not. Uh, they don't sound recorded, but I, I really can't tell anymore. Uh, great stuff. Um, great sound. The vocals are perfect for the music. Uh, like I say, Canadian Doom Death. You know, I got kind of confused. You see some of these guys listed as Doom Death, some of them as Death Doom. And, uh, you know, I wanted to know what the difference was. So I, I asked my buddy Liam, I said, what's the difference? And he, he pretty well told me what I thought to be true anyway. And y'all see what you think. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is what he told me. Doom Death is uh, the doomier, stonier, uh, you know, regular Doom music. But it's got kind of the death growl vocal every now and then. But Death Doom is death metal. Uh, with the death metal vocals, it's just got slower parts and got the uh, the uh, slower riffs dragging along a little bit and got the build up sections in it and also Death Doom and Doom Death is actually different but uh, I don't know where the line is but I would I would say this is Death Doom not Doom Death but you check it out and let me know what you think next check this one out it comes in a, uh, a slip case I love that slides out of there like that then you get the uh, the cover that's Mura Doom Incantations and Narcotic Rituals EP um, 2021 on Caligari a four piece I got a uh, a guest basis on here on this release uh, from Prague Czech Republic um, this is their first release uh, you can go check it out on YouTube uh, I mean, I really enjoyed it. It's, it's uh, Death Doom um, is the way they're classified. And uh, that's exactly what I would say it was. Even slows down almost to a funeral time. Uh, doom 
at points, but uh, two tracks. One track's a little over 11 minutes long and one track's a little over eight and a half minutes long, but they don't overstay their welcome. I mean, it's good stuff. It was actually recorded and mixed in 2020, but put out this year on Caligari. Uh, you'll enjoy it. Check it out. I just tore the little thing there. I'm gonna have to put some glue on there. Blame that on one of my grandkids. Next up, Reveler. Disembodied Excursions Demo. Um, we talked about one of their releases a couple, couple shows ago, I think. There's your cassette. All right, it repeats on both sides. I really like that. Um, <clears throat> the art here is by Black Winter. There's the J card. There's the guys. Right there. Death Metal. Uh, listed as uh, on Metal Archives as being in the USA. But I've been talking with the, the guy that actually plays the guitar and uh, does the vocals on here, Uriel. Um, they're actually living in Romania and his wife plays the bass on here. The drummer's in uh, Mexico, uh, so it's, uh, it's a long range relationship. I don't know how they make it work, but they make it work. It's great stuff. It's mid paced death metal. It's a three piece, three tracks. You get about 16 and a half, almost 17 minutes uh, long. They just put out a new release this year that's got all their demos and all their stuff on it. Uh, this guy, man, he's busy, busy, busy. He's in all kind of projects. Uh, go on uh, Bandcamp and check out some of these. Let me. Re he's on uh, Putrid, Vorus, Necrorite, Cryptic Realms, Rotting Away. I mean, he's just he's just steady busy, man. Check him out. You'll love those things. Uh, speaking of Putrid, here's that release. They actually have a new one out. I think this month, but this is the. Execrat Den Mormant demo uh, 2021 on Unholy Domain Records. It was limited to 200 copies. Came on this awesome yellow cassette. It's another one that repeats on both sides. Four tracks, a little over 15 minutes long. This is a three piece from Transylvania, Romania. Same guy playing the uh, guitars uh, on Reveler, as I just said. Uh, great stuff. Um, like I said, they also got a new demo uh, on Bandcamp just released, come out this month. Check that out. Check out the other Reveler releases. Uh, you'll love those guys. I don't know if you can still get this, but it's Putrid with an E, not with an I. P-U-T-R-E-D. I'll list all these in the description below so you can go try to get you one. Last but not least, Writhing Shadows, Perverse Beast of War. This is a two-piece from Birmingham, Alabama. Skinner said it's a real sweet home. It comes on a red cassette. Um, they put some of these out 2020 originally uh, by the band, but mine's a 2021 release on Life After Death. Uh, currently, if you look on Metal Archives, they're listed as being on Gurgling Gore. Uh, four tracks, almost 14 minutes long. It uh, repeats on both sides. No credits for the cover art that I could find. But like I say, it's Death Metal, Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, you might remember a, a few episodes ago, we did a split. They had a split with Warf, Warf Lurch where they did a um, bolt thrower cover. Uh, each band did a bolt thrower cover on a two track uh, split that was good. I can't remember if they did Cenotaph or uh, World Eater, but uh, either way it was good. They 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 have a lot in common with Bolt Thrower. They're not a Bolt Thrower clone by any means, but they have that pace. They have that sound. Uh, two guys from Birmingham doing it right. Check them out if you haven't. Writhing Shadows. Uh, great stuff. You'll love it. You'll love it. That's it. This is actually the second time I shot this video tonight. The first time my hair was messed up, so I had to redo it when I played it back. I seen that it was a mess, and um, I went and fixed it and got everything right. Uh, go check out Resilient, Chilean Death Metal. One man doing it all. Great guy. Check him out. He'll chat with you on uh, Instagram. He's got his up thing uploaded on uh, YouTube. 
check him out. Santiago Chile, Oscar Mendez. What a guy. Um, and uh, check out those labels and distros I showed you. Again, uh, Goat Throne, Famine, Life After Death, and Rotted Life is some that I've been using in uh, Transylvania tapes. I couldn't find a sticker. And uh, actually, when I got this vinyl in a few days ago, Eric had sent me some download cards. Help yourself. Let's see, this one is uh, Gore Grave, Grave of Gore. And this one is uh, Drakkar at the Crossroads of Infinity. Again, I say it all the time. If you're able to use these, uh, please drop me a line in the comments to let me know you got them so I'll know to, uh, to uh, discard them. But I've yet to have anybody do that. Thank you all for watching. Only the good stuff. We appreciate you, man. Thanks.